Okay, so today we're going to be installing the fan. This is the Max Fan 4000K model. This one does not have a remote and it does not pop up automatically. Um, basically, I got this one because it's cheaper. It's also less parts to break and stuff. Um, the other thing I'm hoping to do with this one is that the height, I think, is going to fit below the rack. And one of the main reasons we got this van is to carry a lot of kayaks on it. So I don't really want this fan getting in the way of the kayaks, because the kayaks are more important than the fan. <laughs> We're going to put it in this back bay back here, right over the bed. We're going to measure out this width. It's um, just under 14 inches, so I'll probably measure out the hole to be maybe 14 and an eighth, just to give myself a little wiggle room, because the flange is plenty big to pick up that extra space. Um, so I'll measure out that hole on top, and then we'll cut it with an angle grinder. Okay, so I centered the hole in between these two gutters here and between this frame and this frame right here. And then I'm just going to drill the center hole so that I know up top where I want it to be centered. So I'm just going to use this box to uh, catch all the filings. People make a good point that all these little metal filings can get in the crevices and cause some corrosion. So we'll just catch them all in the box. And then the most exciting step, putting the fan in the hole. The flange has 12 spots that are marked for pre-drilling into the roof. This is for the 12 screws that came with the fan. Install the screws by moving from corner to corner around the flange. This allows for pressure to be applied evenly as you put the screws in.
I ended up using a multi-tool to cut off the vent attachment points that are fabricated onto the flange. This would allow me to later cover the flange with 4 inch wide turnabond tape. And there is the final product. Here, we got the wires hanging out. Black is positive. This is going to be the neutral. We'll just ground that to the car, to the metal frame. The screws do stick out a little bit, but they're still below this level, so they'll be okay. The fan, uh, the fan, the positive wire is actually the black wire. I've just kind of got things duct taped up for now until we get it paneling up. Um, this is a butt connector with heat shrink, so you can see that's going to the red positive, and they even labeled it positive right there. And then the white wire is the negative, grounded here with a self-tapping screw onto bare metal. So you just gotta sand down to bare metal, and then I just put a little dielectric silicone on there to keep it from rusting in the future. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more Ford Econoline van building videos.